Her Majesty the Queen rides out from Buckingham Palace to attend the traditional ceremony of trooping the colour. Poised and graceful, she wears the brilliant scarlet tunic of the Grenadier Guards and the blue ribbon of the Order of the Garter. Close behind the Queen rides the Duke of Edinburgh. But his mount, Yokefleet, becomes restive as the procession moves along the Mall, packed with thousands who fill the stands built for Coronation Day. <laughs> to Horse Guards Parade comes an open carriage drawn by two Windsor Greys, bearing Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, Princess Margaret, Prince Charles and Princess Anne. Now Her Majesty arrives on the parade ground. At this ceremony, which celebrates the Queen's official birthday, it is the first battalion, the Grenadier Guards, whose colour is to be trooped. The Duke of Gloucester rides beside the Duke of Edinburgh, who wears Field Marshal's uniform and carries the battle. This is the first trooping ceremony he has attended. Her Majesty moves across the square for the inspection. 1,200 guardsmen, splendid in their bright tunics and bearskins, are drawn up on parade. Prince Charles executes a magnificent salute, as with his sister, he watches Her Majesty return to the saluting base for the troop. First, the slow march by the massed bands of the Brigade of Guards. Now comes the troop. The regimental sergeant major bears the gold and crimson colour of the 1st Battalion, the Grenadiers, to the ensign, Lord Boyne. It is the same colour which Her Majesty presented to the battalion last month. Now the colour and escort troop in slow time through the ranks of the guardsmen. The significance of the whole ceremony is to impress upon a regiment its duty to its queen and country. The trooping ends and in final tribute to Her Majesty, the guards march past the saluting base in perfect formation. The 
household cavalry riding their splendid black chargers form up to pass before the Queen. The ceremony of trooping the colour has ended and the Queen rides to the head of her guards to return to the palace. The massed bands lead the procession along the mound. Under the great triumphal coronation arches passes the parade and from the palace balcony the Queen Mother and the royal children see Her Majesty return. Once more Yoke Fleet gives the Duke some trouble. But the Queen's Mount Winston, which she rode at last year's trooping, moves calmly to the palace gates. From that position the Queen will take the salute as her guards march past. The march passed over, the Queen rides into the forecourt of the palace. Immediately a crowd of 20,000 breaks through the police cordon and rushes to the railings for a close view of the Queen as she appears upon the balcony with her family. Once again Her Majesty the Queen has shown a proud and noble bearing at the Trooping the Colour. A ceremony that forms a brilliant conclusion to the pageantry that has filled her capital in this coronation month. <laughs>